Welcome to Spiritual Brewer with Tarot. I'm Madeline. I uh, wore my New Mexico shirt. To... I'm becoming a New Mexican. My um, aunt ran away from an abusive husband uh, 50 years ago from Washington State to New Mexico. And uh, ever since then, the family slowly migrates little by little. And uh, she has created a beautiful home for all of us. Some some of you have seen my um, uh, pictures of times that I spend with her down by her lake and or, her river, and she's right on the Rio Grande um, after the dam. And so at times, certain times of the year, the water is just flowing beautifully through there. Um, all summer long, people are riding their things. Anyway, sorry, water signs. I should have said that at the beginning. So we're talking about water. Uh, wel welcome water signs uh, for the uh, week of November 1st through 7th. Uh, this is your reading. We will uh, start with uh, asking for divine guidance and protection for all of us um, that are in this reading. Okay, so um, I'm really excited. I have um, MJ um, Cullinan um, has uh, made a, well, several decks. And um, so I uh, put this, I started, I got this deck recently and I'll be getting another one of her decks pretty soon. But this one just recently came out and it is the uh, Guardian of the Night Tarot. It's just a beautiful energy, it's amazing energies. And uh, so today we're gonna pull two cards, the first one. Okay, so the first one is the path and the uh, second one is the um, obstacle for the week. All right, so I'll put some Reiki energy in the deck. Okay, so it's cool because each of these have animals on them and uh, I just, I love animals. I have two animal decks. I love animals um, and the animal spirits and animal energies and then to have like another entire deck that has animals is just really great. And then I watched one of her readings on, on uh, YouTube. Oh my goodness. So it's called uh, Crow Tarot slash MJ uh, Cullinane, C U L L I N E N E. So, um, Ace of Swords is the path for this week. And um, Queen of Cups is the obstacle. We got Queen of Cups um, in the, I believe it was the. Uh, may have been the earth signs. Anyway, the, the air of the earth signs readings. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Forgot to take my allergy pill today. Oh my goodness, the underneath of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, the decks are full of owls, which are one of my favorite animals. And then you can see the snake in the center. And so as this wheel, it's, it's almost like instead of this wheel being like a wheel like this that you're turning, you're looking down on a, like a mandala, you know, like a, a circular entity that you're looking down or up into maybe it's the ceiling. Um, you know, it looks kind of like water, so... 
Um, the thing about this wheel is that, you know, normally you think of the wheel and you're thinking of, um, it could have to do with divine timing, change that's going to happen, uh, luck. With this, I feel like the water can flow out through all those cracks and crevices and that it's, it's not as much of a wheel that's turning as an energy is directing itself. And as the, maybe um, more flow will go one way than another, but it, it kind of has that overall energy. And so this week, I think your underlying energy is to see yourself as a whole person, physical, mental, spiritual, and uh, so it's like the emotional. So um, in Reiki, you know, you have the, uh, the physical body, the emotional body, the um, uh, mental body, and the spiritual body. So you have the, the four bodies that make up your um, aura. And so uh, all of these work together and you're able to use the uh, symbols and the energy of Reiki, Reiki to heal, um, heal those things. And so I kind of feel that about this, that it's feeding all of the bodies and that this week you will be maybe looking at some of the bodies you haven't looked at before. And so um, as, we, as we go into this week, the, uh, the path that you'll be following, the direction that you'll be going is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords has a wonderful new energy about it. And it's not birds, it's bats. And it's a sword coming out of a calla lily. And um, calla lilies always make me think of ancient and old because they were, they grew, you know, they grew them way, way, way back when. Or, it's got all these, it's either that or it's um, those ones that close every night. Um, might be those, something like that. But it's not nighttime and they're not closed. <laughs> so, I mean, it is nighttime because the bats are out, the stars are out. Um, the sword is cutting through. So uh, this week, the path or the journey that your soul will follow will be a beautiful path, a new path. And I believe the uh, that some of those leaves are kind of changing color. So it's kind of a fall to winter time frame that these new energies are coming into your life. So water signs, um, I, I kind of see it as new energy flowing into your life, flowing through your life, kind of like these bats are uh, flowing through the sky. You don't even see them until they're just right there. They're very quick. They, they can tell where they're going because of radar, you know, rather than through their actual eyes. Uh, they use kind of an unusual sense. So you know what, maybe um, you know, some of the senses, part of this path is to open new senses. And so, you know, in Reiki, opening up, um, and also in Theta Healing, you know, opening up this um, third eye helps you to see things psychically, to understand things. Um, and then right now, the uh, we have a more clear connection to our ancestors. So that's, it's a lot of energies coming through, but you know, I think that there might, for different people, because it's a general rating, for different people it'll be different things, but I feel like overall, it'll be a beautiful flowing, brand new look at some of your gifts and some of your um, senses that you didn't realize you had coming out in a new way. And then um, the obstacle that you'll face. I the first thing I notice here is how how large an or an orca is, and I was thinking, you know, maybe um, it just feel like 
you're kind of in the way and that you just need to get smaller and get out of the way. It's also definitely the Queen of Cups is, you know, a water sign card. It has the, uh, the crab, you know, which is the uh, Cancer, and it has a lot of energies. It has the fish, which is the Pisces, and, um, you know, I'm thinking that, yeah, and that cup and the, uh, you know, kind of thinking of the Aquarius is the uh, cup bearer. So we have all of the energies of the water signs in here. And it could be that something about being a water sign will make you kind of feel in the way this week. Like that you're not in the right place and you have somewhere you need to go to get something else. So let's take a look at the tarot. Um, this is, so all of the decks I use are down um, in the description. And uh, if this resonates with you today, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm almost to 50 subscriptions. Need two more, so if you haven't subscribed, please do, so I can get up to 50 this week. That'll be really great. But anyway, if this does resonate for you, um, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you can get other videos. So we're looking at the uh, Smithwaite uh, regular kind of like the traditional uh, tarot deck that all the other decks are based off of, or a lot of them are. I think there's a couple different um, basic kinds that came out. I haven't memorized that yet. Okay, let's get this some Reiki. Clear the deck, Reiki energy. Judgment, Queen of Swords, and uh, Seven of Cups. Okay. I was talking about, you know, a lot of uh, possibilities opening up, uh, new opportunities, kind of like a, a way being made clear for you, uh, some clarity being brought in, um, having to do with this uh, new birth and this new uh, direction that you're having in your life. So this new birth, this new energy is uh, coming in and opening up uh, some new perspectives. As I said, it's a very beautiful a new beginning, um, you're, uh, you're being resurrected to uh, new understandings of things that maybe you didn't realize before, especially on your spiritual type journey. And it might even be someone with an air energy that will come and guide you in some way during, during this time. You know, and the, there are a lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunities. We can pick one or the other. Um, but when we pick the right, I mean, when we won't necessarily pick all of them. And I think, I think that we will pick the things that will really um, help us move and grow to a better place. And that's what this wheel was talking about. Was I felt like it was more of an energy of expansion um, rather than uh, direct decision. It's more of an expansion. So this week is going to be about expansion, which really makes sense with the uh, Seven of Cups. Okay, so let's pull some uh, tarot cards for the uh, Queen of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles, watching and waiting, you have uh, laid the foundation, and yeah, you're you're kind of feeling like you're in the way. You just need to let things um, happen to you, 
and uh, that you need to take that time of rest to kind of get away from things and um, get away from those energies and uh, rest and heal your wounds. And uh, But you probably are going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight for your place. You know, because even though that's your obstacle that you're facing, um, you'll have some fighting. And what you need to fight for is this, the Four of Wands, this beautiful place that's been prepared for you, this happy place that will be where you should be um, in your life. Okay, so... Um, see here. So I think this is a beautiful message. I, I'm ending each one of these with the, uh, the same card from the wellness deck because it has become my favorite. Not only are the colors some of my favorite colors, the beautiful moon. And by the way, if you're watching this before the full moon, on the 31st, we're having a full moon, which is also a blue moon, which is also Halloween and Samhain. And all the major holidays and uh, pagan new year, all kinds of things happening, time change in the U.S., crazy things happening all at once. And in this full moon, we're going to be also having a much thinner veil between us and our ancestors. And already, um, there's a lot of things that have been coming through. I know for me, as a reconnection with my sister who uh, died. You can take a look at that uh, video that I uh, posted last night. On that and uh, there are many other reconnections that will happen in that evening that's what it's going to be all about and so if you're interested in a reading uh, you can you can let me know so by visualizing my desired outcome the perfect action is always inspired and so sometimes we don't know how to act you know we're getting this uh, seven of seven of cups so we're like confused we're like there's so many different directions I could head, and I don't know which one to go. And, you know, my life is expanding and growing, and all these new things are coming into it. You know, I'm getting these uh, new opportunities, uh, new expansions, new ways of seeing things, uh, new uh, senses that I never knew I had before. And, and all of that stuff is coming into my life. And... You know, by visualizing our desired outcome, we will know which path to take. So we will be led down that path as we align with source. As your desire to feel good leads you to thoughts that feel good, the perfect action will be inspired from that alignment. And that inspired action is always joyful. So the visualization, the thing that we visualize is is feeling good this place of true happiness harmony and peace and as we visualize that um, the rest of the things will fall into place so this is your uh, reading for this week for November 1st through 7th um, we will have an extended as well in the extended we'll be looking at the uh, archetype cards there will be uh, three three cards uh, one for uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So um, we'll have the uh, the three different. Um, you know, it's so funny. I put Aquarius as being a water sign. It's just so hard for me to think of it as an air sign. So is Scorpio in here? Well, yeah, kind of. He, I think he probably lives inside that uh, shell. And he comes out and bites you. No, I'm just kidding. I was, I'm a Scorpio rising, so I understand our complexities. Hmm, that's interesting that I I said Aquarius instead of Scorpio. Okay, so we'll be pulling cards for those uh, three water signs in the extended. So come on over to the extended on Vimeo. Uh, there's a, a link below, and we'll see you there.